We are at the Ken Island Yacht Club. We are here with Mercy Morgan Field, and we're here to tell you about a very fun special event, Jazz on the Narrows. And we have a lot to talk about today. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> for sure. So let's get started with why are we having this event? Well, one reason that we're having it is because um, we could. <laughs> <laughs> which but, is where you have to start. Which is where you start. <laughs> uh, we, we were able to procure some of the top names in jazz um, through my connections. Um, at Muddy's Daughter, LLC. So um, we were able to procure some of the top names. I just so happen to have a boat here. That's right. So um, with my boat being here, um, I, um, I started talking to the Yacht Club about these beautiful grounds. It's amazing. We use these grounds a lot for weddings, um, and we use them for things like weddings, and, and, and we might, I think we had a bull roast here <laughs> and some other things. But um, they're beautiful grounds. It's 10 acres actually on um on the on this this 10 acre peninsula on the narrows it overlooks like like look how gorgeous it is I know, and this is where it's going to be right and here this is, this is beautiful be. and this is a great setting to bring your blanket um you know bring your lawn chair and we we, we provide the, the the libations we provide the food and we provide the music all you have to do is bring yourselves that's right and um because it's such a fabulous location and and working with the yacht club and, and being a member of the yacht club we just decided to do a series of concerts. Our jazz is our first one. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping to um, bring blues as well. Um, we may even bring in country and we may bring in classical. But one thing that, that, that was the driver for all of this is my dad was a blues singer. Yeah, a Some legend, people would say not a just blues a singer, legend. he was yeah. a legend. So my dad was Muddy Waters. Uh, my, my godfather is B.B. King. Mm -hmm. And so I come from blues. Um, I grew up with Eric Clapton sitting in our our dining room, you <laughs> it's know. Amazing. I yeah. grew up with um, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger, who mm -hmm. named their 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 group the Rolling Stones after my dad's record. I am a Rolling Stone, so you know we grew up with all types of music. I grew up with talking on the phone to Ray Charles. So so when you grow up in that type of musical atmosphere, you 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 start to respect where music comes from, mm -hmm. not just the music itself. So the blues is American root music. You know, blues, country, classical, these are American root music. Yeah. And all music derives from these from this music. Yeah, it's the building blocks of everything we listen to today. Everything you yeah. listen to today, whether it no matter how weird it sounds from the music that it came from, that's where it derives. Right. So if you just go down the arm, the the the, the genetic arm if you will of blues, right? Um, jazz derived from blues. Mm -hmm. My dad said the blues had a baby and they named it rock and roll. Yeah, I saw that quote on the website. Yeah, because yes. we have so many, you know, we have so many rock and roll people. <laughs> yeah. So, but he's like, uh, that, 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 that got their inspiration from Muddy and from B.B. King mm -hmm. and from Howling Wolf and from um, Willie Dixon, this incredible songwriter. So uh, James Cotton, you name it, these people got their inspiration from them. But the blues also had a baby and it was called jazz. Mm -hmm. Jazz, um, so the, the blues started in this 30-mile radius in Mississippi, right? Everybody was in 30 miles. So Daddy was in 30 miles of B.B. King. B.B. Mm -hmm. King was in 30 miles of Sun House. It could you imagine that? Miles. Could you imagine being in that circle and just I, I, getting to hear all not. that? Yeah, I could it's, it's not. It's phenomenal. And, 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 and it was, you know, it all started in this 30-mile radius. When the Library of Congress came down and recorded Dad for the first time, they were looking for Sun House, but they found Daddy. Mm -hmm. You have to put... Um, captions on there to understand what he's saying. <laughs> That's how heavily Mississippi it was. Yeah. Now, New Orleans is four hours from Mississippi. Like the, the so, so when you look at New Orleans, um, New Orleans is four hours from that delta. Mm -hmm. So New Orleans um, is the birthplace of jazz. And the blues and ragtime is what fed jazz and what became and eventually became jazz. So everything comes from that one father, if you will, right. and mother of the blues. It's, it's so beautiful to think about, too, how it's just all evolved. Yeah. And it's brought us to here today, where we get to hear jazz music mm -hmm. in Queens County mm -hmm. at the Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about the event. Okay. So it's being hosted by the Yacht Club. It's also you're having help with inspired events, right, to put this on? Well, um, it is being hosted by Muddy's Daughter, okay. LLC. Mm -hmm. So we're, we, we kind of lease the land from the Yacht Club. Got you. Okay. Um, um, what we try to do in this is use as many locals as possible. Mm -hmm. um, to make sure that the locals benefit 
from this festival coming in as opposed to bringing in people from everywhere and the local and the local people don't get you know don't get that um, ability to an opportunity to make money right so um, you know we brought in Becky Groff who uh, who does inspired events um, and they you know the, an event you know an event planning company does great work right here on the island yeah, we've covered a couple of their events before yeah, yeah, yeah they know, do amazing knows, work knows all the people on the island mm -hmm. so we, we brought in Becky we're bringing Bringing in the Smokehouse Grill, awesome. um, which is Tammy and Steve um, Holden. Mm -hmm. um, they're one of our food vendors. We're bringing in Rita's from the from the island. We're bringing in, right. you know, we're bringing in Soakhost um, as 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 a, as food vendors. We're trying to get our beer vendors from the island. We're, we, uh, the only reason we'll go off island is if we can't get it here. That's right. So you know, like I, I say, respect the area that you're in. So when we go to St. Thomas this winter, we're going to respect St. Thomas. Right. And that's that's just the way that we that we're doing business. And that that's huge not only for the community money-wise and keeping everything in here, but it's a the respect thing like you're saying. Yeah. It's just people love that and we'll appreciate all of that happening right here. Yeah, th at the th Canale this Yucca. community adopted me cuz I'm not from here. Yeah. And you were telling me how much they helped you out just with your boat. Y yeah, so when I got my little <laughs> my, when I got my little boat, it's not a yacht, it's at a yacht club, but it's not a yacht, right? <laughs> so when I got my little boat, you know, everybody kicked in to help me to renovate it, to do all sort of wonderful things. And this community adopted me and I, adop I adopted this community. So yeah. now y'all are stuck with me. That's right. Yeah. Glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> so we, we've we've gone on and we've talked about all the stuff we're doing, but we haven't talked about who's going to be there yet. Okay. And I know the people are excited. Okay. So, let's so talk we have it. some big names. Well, we have some big names. <laughs> we have Grammy Award winners. We have, so Cecile McLaurin Salvant, mm -hmm. and, and everybody needs to Google her because she, when you look at the food chain, she is there yeah. for jazz, right? She has won every award imaginable. Every album she's put out has won a Grammy. Mm -hmm. So we have Cecile McLaurin Salvant on Friday night. Yeah, she's our headliner Friday night. She's our headliner right. Friday night. And then people couldn't believe, they're like, oh my God, you got pieces of a dream. Yeah. I remember listening to them when they were 17 years old and they were playing in DC. Yeah. Well, you know what? They're still going strong because that's the power of jazz music. It's not trendy. It doesn't go away in five years. Right. So pieces of a dream is our headliner for Saturday night. And their world. World, traveled world travel like 40 right years. here right <laughs> you're going to have people that have been playing yeah. started in philly right in the uh -huh. 70s uh -huh. and traveled the world and then came here and then came here <laughs> it's well, amazing I mean, and now they're coming here for this jazz festival yeah. i had to drag them from um new jersey but you know they're philly guys <laughs> they're gonna love it but they're gonna they're gonna <laughs> love it you know one of the things we always get is where is kent island what is kent island mm -hmm. so now a whole lot of people are gonna know that's right. our name that's right. Right. And then we have Mindy A. Bear. Mm -hmm. she, she plays the saxophone. She has this huge um, saxophone presence and just she is just a strong woman. The amount of the bands that she's played with. That she's played with. You Joe, would know Joe everyone. Bonamassa, it was you crazy. Know, you know, like, what are some other ones that you read? Well, so she she played with uh, uh, Tonight Show. Uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. What's his name? I don't yeah. know why I'm blanking yeah, on his I, name I, now. I am blanking right now, too. Yeah. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But the, we can even put it on the screen, though, yeah. because it's too many of the name. I literally saw the list on the website, mm -hmm. hundreds of names that Mindy you've known and heard everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And we can't sleep on her too, because she was also a blues she, independent artist she, of the year she, she with her band. She is independent artist of the year. She's mm -hmm. two-time Grammy nominated. Um, she when, when I found out we could get Mindy, I was like, Mindy's on my playlist. Oh <laughs> yeah, my right. God. And now she'll be on everyone's. Um, and now she's going to yeah. be on everyone's. And she's the Sunday night headliner. She's right? the Sunday mm -hmm. night headliner. Now let's talk about just the middle acts. Yeah. We talked about the headliners, and the headliners are the top-of-the-line jazz people. Um, when you look at the middle acts, let's start out with um, Ben Williams, the Ben Williams band. Mm -hmm. or, um, ben Williams uh, won the, the Thelonious, Monk, Thelonious Monk Award. Sorry about that. I just killed that name. Jazz people, please don't kill me. <laughs> um, the Thelonious Monk Award for the best jazz harp. Um, everybody knows Ben Williams because he is this wonderful contemporary jazz artist that just um, is, 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 is defining the genre in a different way. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Emmett Cohen trio, and he's played with everybody from Veronica Swift to you name it. <laughs> so you have the Emmett Cohen trio out of, um, out of New York. Everybody who knows jazz knows Emmett Cohen. Mm -hmm. And then um, our middle act on, um, on Friday night is a little taste of the Caribbean.
Currently, they are the jazz artist in resident at Lincoln at residence at Lincoln Center. Wow! And that is Dion Parson and 21st Century Band. That's uh, awesome. It is just this elegant jazz that makes you want to put on a sparkly dress <laughs> and have a cocktail. Not you. You might want to put on a sparkly dress. Oh, you never know. You don't know what. Jazz might do it. Yeah, might just do it. I know blues does, but, uh, but jazz might do it too. So, you know, well, like we have that. And then when you look at, at our openers, even our openers are astounding. Yeah. Um, we have Elling, um, Ellington um, Carthen, who is right now the artist in residence at the Strathmore. Um, we have Anna East Reno, who is a prodigy, a 17-year-old prodigy, a vocalist, um, singing the, um, the the jazz of Strayhorn and other and other just very elegant groups, and she has played at Carnegie Hall. And how cool is it to see someone that young? That young in doing her thing. When I tell it's you, awesome. we go young, old, all ethnicities, all types, and then mm -hmm. let, let me brings me to this next guy. Um, Cesar Orozco, he is Cuban Venezuelan jazz, and all you have to do is go to the website, listen to him, and you <laughs> will have your behind in the seat on Sunday <laughs> to see him because he is, you know, it's just amazing. Um, it, it's just been such a blessing. And then when you just look at the kids' show that's mm -hmm. free and open to the public, um, we're going to have the Bethesda um, 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 Jazz and Blues Kids Trio here. So, so kids listening to kids, kids music listening and just, to kids. that's awesome. And our kids event is going to be an and we are um, we're going to have the um, Annapolis Naval Jazz Band. Right. So we'll have our military band and yeah. our, our presence here. So you know we all honor that and that's kind of our way of honoring them the military and everything they've done for us. So um, when you look at the kids event, there's going to be uh, a petting zoo for a petting zoo for um you gotta get the kids in for, for any way you can no, for then, instruments. Then, then. oh, oh can that's instruments. Awesome. right awesome. you can you, you can you can pet a, you can pet a saxophone and see how it works and see how it that's plays so cool and we're gonna have crafts and and things for the kids and for the older kids who don't want to pet instruments um <laughs> we're actually setting up a speakeasy for them i saw that with with big screens how awesome um, and their own little non-alcoholic bar because you know what jazz is a vibe mm -hmm. It's not just music. When I first got into jazz, um, I didn't know who was playing. I, I think it was ba Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, and um, and people and and Kenny um, Kenny. Um, come on, the saxophone, Kenny G. Kenny G. <laughs> and um, and um, I, I can't think of some of the other artists. But when I first got into it, it beca it was a vibe before it was a music genre mm -hmm. for me. It was a uh, you know you go sit down and you just relaxing and you're lounging and you're listening to music that calms your soul yep. and, um, and and reaches down to your bone marrow for the most part um, and it's just a pleasant way to spend your time and then I started going to jazz concerts all over the the world because that was kind of what we did at right. that time and um, and that's what really got me into jazz and that was what was allowed me to um, to 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 procure this lineup that we have mm -hmm. um, because a lot of jazz festivals will say we're a jazz festival but they'll have R&B scattered in and they'll have this scattered in and that right. scattered in nothing wrong with that but this jazz lineup is true to the genre there is no one in here who do, who is not strictly jazz right no one in the lineup and if you had to had to say we have this has been going on how, how often is a lineup like this available for someone to go watch? I would challenge anyone to go online <laughs> and look at the jazz festivals that we have had in the DMV in the past four years. And this is nothing against any of the jazz festivals. Right. But this is by far the best jazz lineup I have seen in a long time. This is a special event. This is a special event. And we've whet their appetite. They know who's going to be here. They yeah. know what to expect. Yeah. But we have to get them here. Yeah. So how do we get people here? So you need to go to www.jazzonthenarrows.com <laughs> and um, go to event Brighton by tickets. So www.jazzonthenarrows. So think Jazz on the Narrows. We're jazz overlooking the narrows that's right and go to the website go to the facebook page go to instagram you can get tickets from any of those spots and um and my recommendation is if you really love jazz do a vip ticket yeah because your vip tent is going to get you um all your food um it's going to get you your food your liquor 
if you don't, if you're not a big drinker, it you know it'll get you a lot of yeah, your liquor, yeah, yeah. your food, your <laughs> liquor, um, your own um, bathrooms. VIPs do, and your first, you, you you are the first people that get to do the meet and greet with the artist, and the artist artists are a captive audience right here on the <laughs> island. They, they can't go anywhere, so they got to meet and greet That's with right. you. So um, um, it'll get you the meet and greet, and it'll get you access to the cigar and bourbon tent. Okay. So another thing that we're going to have on property is a cigar and bourbon tent. So you, you keep can... coming with these things that you guys are going to have. Look, That's nonstop. We wanted to create an experience. This is. You know? Mm -hmm. That was why I brought in Inspired Events. Right. Because they have been cre created ex ex experiences on the island. Right. So we wanted to create an experience, not just a jazz concert, not mm -hmm. just a jazz festival, but a true experience. So you can go have your cigar and your bourbon and look out on the water and listen to jazz and then come back to your seat. Um, but VIP tickets are on sale. And believe me, the, the tickets and the price of admission to get into this festival is far less than it is anywhere else in the DMV. Sure. We might have to raise prices next year, but this year <laughs> we kept them very, very attainable for right. people. And you want to buy your ticket for all three days because you'll get a discount. So yeah, if you come buy all three every days, day. it's yeah. called Jazz Heaven. So <laughs> if you buy all three days, you get a $25 discount if you buy the, um, the, the general admission ticket and you get a $50 discount on the VIP experience. Mm -hmm. My recommendation is, you know, if you can do the VIP experience, do it, not just because it's more money, but because, you know, it gets you so much more. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming thank out. Thank you for having we, me, Bruce. We are so excited for your event. Um, your, your father was a legend of music, and you're soon going to become a legend of this event. I like, hope, this thing is going to be amazing. I, I hope, hope it keeps coming for years. Yeah, I hope it does, too. <laughs> so, uh, we, so we're so off come to on a good down, right? start. We're off to a good start. You are off to a good start. Yeah, thank so you let's so get, much. let's get one final come on down. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> to jazz on the narrows, you will not regret it. If you do nothing but sit out on a blanket and listen to good music and eat yummy food, um, um, it's, it, it's, it's a wonderful way to experience a weekend um, on the water. That's right. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay. I can't wait for to have you, too. Thank you so much <laughs> for everything. Of course. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well.